Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on Medium, YouTube, and at DanielRoso.tech. So what I want to do quickly in today's video is just demonstrate, um, it might seem obvious, but how to get bash scripting running for yourself on Synology DSM. Now be aware, of course, that uh, Synology is a Linux-based file system, but it doesn't have, you don't have the ability to manipulate all the packages and add everything out of the box. So you're limited to what, what it has there, but certainly, um, being able to execute scripts is prefer is preferable. I'm going to say preferential is preferable to uh, you know having to uh, just type commands. So the default way to run stuff on Synology is going into the main menu, going into control panel, and I had to go into advanced mode in order to get the uh, to get the option to use task scheduler. You see that? So I find that kind of weird. I would have thought that's a pretty basic thing on an on an NES, but uh, in any event, click on Advanced, and then you'll see this one called Task Scheduler. As you can see here, I have been keeping myself very busy setting up a bunch of different uh, different tasks. But um, basically, what you can do is schedule task, user defined script, and uh, test script. You don't want to run stuff as root. You want to run it under a user with admin, basically. Uh, you can do it on a schedule. I've made the point here before that the schedule was is a little bit uh, I don't know. It's it's not so extensive. You can do it on certain days of the week in this option. Here you can start day, for example, and then repeat. I think what I what I dislike about this is that it doesn't replicate a cron job. Like you don't have I would want to run it every ten days or every two weeks or you know the third day skipping. There's lots of things that you can do. Pretty much everything in cron that this isn't the full option basically um, and basically the the main thing is you can just do a course you can just put a command in here um, and that will work perfectly and you can com confirm to yourself that you're going to get the emails but it's obviously more powerful if you if you put in bash scripts basically and you can run them like that so in order to demonstrate this really I've just SSH'd into the NAS now the important thing is to pay attention to the path so you can see relative to root, um, if I actually just drop all the way back to the root of the NAS, you can see what it looks like. It's kind of a, it's a Linux file system, Linux based file system, um, but the goodies is all within volume one. Um, that's where, that's where basically you'll find all the um, storage stuff, all, all your, all your shared folders. I'm just going to go into, into one. So what I'm going to, going to, what I will do is go into this demos folder. And I'm just going to uh, set this up for this demo. I'm just going to actually get rid of all that. Um, and just touch 1.txt and 2.txt. Now we've got two files, 1 and 2.txt. And uh, uh, I could have done that in one command. If you go into test 2, just make sure there's nothing. So the job of this very primitive bash script, this demonstration bash script, is just going to be to copy um, the contents of folder 1 to folder 2. So I've just opened the text editor. I just created a very, as I said, this test by script, copying volume one, demos, test one, everything, while card, everything in there, into volume one, volume one, demos, test two. So it's just, it, that should move over just those two test files, saving the script. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to do now is I've created a uh, shared folder here called scripts. I'm just gonna drop in the test script so we're able to call it. I checked before doing that that it's got the executable permissions and uh, now we can call that. Now here's here's the trick trick of the video. Click on properties and you'll be able to just get the path um, of that script and uh, put that into the scheduler. Going back into task scheduler now, I'm going to go into schedule task, user defined script. It's going to put that in quickly uh, and you're just going to call it test script. Test script. Uh, user as I said is going to be me scheduling uh, this can be a one soft job and I'll repeat we're just going to run it once anyway and I do want to get the output um, and I'll just this will send me an email basically just confirming that it's been run correctly and it'll more Im as importantly it will give me the terminal output as well so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click OK on that and uh, we should have the test script. Let me just make sure that this is the one at the very top is the guy I've just created. Indeed it is. 
I'm just going to go run, and this will manually initiate the test script. So, I mean, this is going to take a millisecond to to move two uh, TXT files with nothing in them into the, into the right folder. So, as a moment of truth, I've just cleared up here, gone into folder test two, ls command, and as we can see, the two uh, the two guys have moved in, and in test one, it is they're both there because we use cp, which copies over. So that's basically it. Um, not hard. I recommend creating a creating a volume called scripts just so you know where the scripts are going to be, and uh, you can basically then just call that from within the task scheduler, and that will allow you to execute your uh, your bash scripts um, on schedule uh, using using cron. And I'm just going to also quickly um, uh, copy, and I just got that email just to say that it went off as as expected. So. You just need to configure an email for that to happen as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, further for further videos and uh, information, or just to get in touch, always happy to have people get in touch. Daniel Rosehill with two L's. Co. Al. There's a contact form on that website, and you can reach me there. Thanks for watching.